I believe that Tetris may well be the first virtual sport. We always have wondered why the biggest game in the world didn't have a champion. It's the only video game that can be described as perfect, right? Because how would you improve it? Not just a game, it's a history. It's an evolution. I've been playing Tetris for like 20 years. I don't even want to know how many hours I've played Tetris. I play like nonstop. The one trick to training in Tetris is to be always almost dead. I daydream during the day. I'll, I'll sit and play Tetris in my head. I have Tetris dreams at night. The mind kind of has like a buffering kind of RAM situation. Yeah, it is almost a degree of like you're programming yourself to do it. Things are changing. It's really fluid and it just is always like morphing into a new thing that you're just constantly reacting to. You have to think four or five steps ahead in one second. It's moving faster than onlookers can actually perceive the game. These guys are thinking it. I knew Thor had been to this level that was just like a, a myth. He was the greatest Tetris player in the world 20 years ago. He beat over a million kids. Well, from what I've heard, Thor's got the magic thumb. What would happen if you and Thor went face to face? I, I know that already people are doubting him. I feel almost annoyed that Thor hasn't done anything in the way of proving what he's done. Unless he's like a finger-tapping god. When you get to 30, it's like these Tetris giants are just throwing pieces at you as hard as they can. It's going to be a great experience to be in a room full of people who are great at this game.